knowledge unfits a child to be a slave, then I will love what he hates, and I will hate what he loves. Welcome back to Metro Scene. I'm Marvin Jackson. American Prophet is a groundbreaking musical that is playing right now at Arena Stage. And I have the two leading actors here with me today. First, we have Cornelius Smith Jr. and Crystalyn Lloyd. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. And uh, let's talk a little bit about both of your backgrounds and the roles that you're playing in this musical. First, we have Cornelius Smith. Cornelius, talk a little bit about you and, and, and this role that you're playing. Yes, thanks for having me once again. I'm playing the role of Frederick Douglass in this beautiful musical, American Prophet, Frederick Douglass in his own words. And I am originally from Detroit, Michigan, and I live in Los Angeles. Uh, I went to NYU grad acting, and I'm just really thrilled to be a part of this production. I first got involved with the production before the pandemic. And we have been kind of workshopping it and finessing it and just really getting it to a place now where we um, got it on its feet. It's been a long journey, and I'm really thrilled about the journey we've taken and where we're headed and uh, what we uh, have created thus far. All right. And Crystalline. Hi. Crystalline Lloyd. Talk about mm -hmm. your role and a little bit about you. I'm, I'm Crystalline Lloyd, and I... I, you know, I went to school for musical theater and acting at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I immediately went to LA and um, lived and worked there for about seven years. And that's where I met Cornelius. Uh, we were both soap opera babies at some point. And then I moved to New York about eight years ago. And, you know, since then I've done, you know, more television and a lot of developmental theater. I've done Broadway and I play the role of Anna Murray Douglas, who is the first wife of Frederick Douglass, who was an abolitionist as well. And she worked the Underground Railroad and really devoted her life to the cause of freeing her race. You know, I think you and I had talked, Crystalline, about, you know, what do you like the most, acting or singing? And maybe uh, you can just mention something about that real quick to, to our viewers. Oh, wow. I mean, they're both these incredible disciplines. I, acting was the first thing that I really grasped onto. Um, my mom would say at an early age that I was a pro at fake crying. <laughs> and that's how she knew. But gradually, as I moved to New York and started, doing more musicals. I just grew as an artist in, in that discipline and singing. You know, I would say that it's really hard to choose between the two. Being able to tell a story as an actor is really empowering, but also being able to do it as a singer with your voice is, it's so fun. So it's hard to choose. All right. What about you, Cornelius? Did you start with the singing or the acting? You know, I've always been singing my entire life. I, I grew up singing in the church. And so that's kind of where I started singing. And oddly enough, I did musicals in high school. And that was the last time I did a musical. So this is my first professional musical that I've done, period, actually. And so in that respect, I mean, I love them both. They're both great disciplines. I think storytelling through song and storytelling through acting, it's just, it's just really a joy because it's really about telling the story. And if you can do that through song, it's a, it's a wonderful, joyous occasion, and as well as, you know, telling it with your body. I mean, it's really using all the tools that you have available in your toolbox, if you will, to, to tell that story from that character's perspective. And, and that's what I enjoy the most. So it is, it is tough to choose between the two because I think they're, they're really both connected and support each other very well. And you have a Grammy award-winning songwriter, right? Composer. 
talk a little bit about this this music and and how great it is how it kind of brings frederick Douglass's writings and speeches to life yeah absolutely I, I just feel so lucky that's one of the things that really kind of grabbed my attention when i first got involved with the project was was the music and then to know that additionally that 90 percent of the words that are spoken that i speak in the play are actually frederick Douglass's words it was just mind-blowing and then to hear how marcus was able to kind of translate translate that and adapt it to music it just really made for a heartfelt experience a soulful experience and when you when you hear some of the words and how they are relevant in today's world it makes it all that more impactful so it's 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 a lot going on it's, it's a very kind of layered experience because, for example, one song in the play is We Need a Fire, and that's taken directly from Frederick Douglass's words where he says, it's not the light we need, but fire. Uh, it's not the gentle shower that we need, but thunder. And, and those, two simple, those two simple lines make for a really beautiful song that Marcus was able to it's compose beautifully. It's not the light that we need. Oh, it is not light that we need, but fire. It's not the gentle shower that we need, but thunder. Crystalline, talk about like special moments for you especially with the, maybe with the singing. I think, you know, some of my favorite moments are the moments that are just very real. When you see two abolitionists, you know, people on stage who are married, who are trying to do the good work while also trying to keep their relationship together, trying to keep their family together and have their own lives. That I read somewhere Never flesh That my arms wrap around your waist feels a lot like coming home. Coming home. I'm you know always so excited to sing Marcus's music. It's really beautiful. And you know, it's 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 a lucky thing that you get, you know, that I get to go on stage and have have the joy that I get to have when I'm singing through, through his songs. All right. And why should people come out to see this musical? Starting with Cornelius. I think people should come to see the musical because it's, especially in today's world, can really kind of serve as, as a foundation for inspiration and hope. And as I kind of mentioned earlier, these are Frederick Douglass's words. And so you really learn a lot about Frederick Douglass and also, more importantly, you learn about Anna as well. You learn about these two powerful individuals. We kind of see their journey, their love story, and it, it, it can kind of remind us about the work that still needs to be done in today's world. And again, the carryover from then to now and the relevancy. So if you, you know, if you want to come out and and learn something new about history to take with you forward, this is the perfect opportunity to do so. All right. What about you, Crystalline? I'd say the same. Corinna took the words right out of my mouth. It's an opportunity to learn about things you hadn't maybe known before. And especially with Anna Douglas, you know, so many people say after seeing the show, they didn't know Frederick Douglas had a black wife. You know, that was his first wife, the mother of all of his children. And sometimes it's only known that he had a second wife. And so I think that alone is an interesting concept to come out and see the show. Because that's, that's a bit of history that we don't really get. We don't have a lot of information on Anna Douglas. There's only two photographs of her ever. And it's, it's information that I think a lot of Black women are receiving and feeling seen and heard on stage. It's beautiful. She kind of motivated him, right? Oh, 
absolutely. I mean, she ran his finances. She she carried the the, the weight of the household and the children. She made sure he had fresh, clean clothes wherever he went somewhere to speak. She would send some ahead for him that she laundered. And, you know, she took on second jobs, two or three, while Frederick was on the road to make sure that they were making enough money to survive. So she's a huge reason why he is as, as successful as he was. just like to thank you for joining us on Metro Scene and just huge success in the future. Thank you for having us. All right. And everybody get out to see American Prophet. It's an awesome musical. So for Metro Scene, I'm Marvin Jackson. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.